So um, item 25 is a um, report from our Transportation Commission in response to the City Council's referral on um, updating our welcome signage um, at our city entrances. And um, so welcome the Berkeley signs. Love life, sanctuary city in Ohlone territory. Love life is a good message in within itself. True. Um, so you know, I just think that you know, in truth, that there are different views. And I don't feel, except in this chamber and at the Com transportation commission, there's been a. What do you want your city to say? To you and I don't feel that a broad enough element of our community has the, even knows about it. Right. So I'm just interested in getting input from the community. If we're saying sanctuary city, and it's in English, but it's not in Spanish, it's not in Arabic, how, who is that sign useful to? So I think that's um, an important question. And who are we making, uh, who, who's feeling good about that, right? So. I think it might be uh, people who who speak English, right? So that um, I'm a, I have a little more uncomfortable with picking the messaging right now. I first I want to say that I I like all the messaging that has been put forward. I actually agree with it all. Um, I do think this is a lonely territory. We have voted to be a sanctuary city. Um, love life is a beautiful sentiment and I appreciate having it kind of um, built out with um, Council Member Dalla's own uh, deeply felt expression of that message. Um, but I'm still not comfortable deciding here in this way what essentially what we are deciding either the motto or branding or whatever you want to call it that is so universally reflective, so distilled about you know everything that we might say um, about ourselves. Okay, so I'm going to move a short-term referral that we uh, order and post signs of this this intended dimension. And so that's the motion. I second the motion. Councilmember Depp. So um, I really kind of <laughs> mm, slightly annoyed right now because this is the second time it's been referred. Why should it be referred again? Why can't we just, I, I mean, yeah, it is. It's called, it is. I actually feel like it is a racist move. And a, I'm just saying, that's the honest to God truth because this is the second time it's being referred somewhere else for a longer period of time. That means it's gonna be a year, or who knows how long, before anything changes. And racism was, de was um, emphasized highly in the health status report as a big problem in Berkeley, uh, you know, as far as health equity and all these things. This is the honest to God truth. And we already know we have, um, from our uh, Center for Police Equity report that we have, you know, racial um, issues when it comes to stops in Berkeley. Um, so I'm just saying, this is like annoying, but you know, you guys will do what you wanna do and that's, that's how it will be, but um, Welcome to Berkeley, Ohlone Territory should be on the signs, all the signs. Um, sanctuary City, we're not loving life, we're not loving each other, we're not, I mean, racism is not love, I'm, I'm just saying. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to state that because this is the second time it's going to be referred and that's just some... Um, I haven't seen any of the items come across council being referred multiple times to different places for multiple reasons. Thank you. Council Member Worthington. <laughs> Thank you. About the word territory. I just wondered, and this is something that I have not been sure of, 
whether the Ohlone people actually refer to this as territory or whether lands or um, homeland or some other, I, I actually, okay. Yeah, so I just wanted to clarify, um, the motion that I made was to actually have the signs made. And it's a short-term referral, meaning that they would be made as quickly as possible. It's not a referral back to the city to think about it. My motion was for it to get done. And so I'm sorry if I didn't make it clearly enough and there was a misunderstanding. But I also, um, I do not think that it is appropriate for there to be an insinuation that I would make a racist motion. And uh, I, I just, I'm shocked to have that kind of accusation leveled, especially, quite frankly, when it's based on a misunderstanding of the motion that I made. So I personally would like an apology for that. Uh, and I am sorry if I did not make my motion clearly. Council Member Davila. So um, for one, I consulted with Karina Gould on several occasions about these signs. Um, and she is totally in support. When I see her speak, which I've never seen, I've seen the mayor there, but I haven't seen anybody else there at any of the um, places where I've seen her speak. Or at any of the indigenous um, events that I've gone to, and I go to a lot, actually. So I'm just saying, um, and she also refers to it as Ohlone territory all the time. You could look her up on the internet and figure that one out. So I kind of find that a little disrespectful, but um, um, and I just wanted to talk about the current logo. I mean, when I give out my cards, which I give out quite a few all the time, every day, often people are so happy to see the colors on the card. The only ones that, the only change from our indigenous, of which I am myself, leaders, um, I'm not a leader, but I'm also indigenous, um, state that they're not included on the, in the color scheme. That would be the only change that I would consider because it represents maybe not what Berkeley is now at 6%, but when I came here in 81, there were many, many, many more people of color in this town. And to change the logo would just to be to gentrify it, the city a little more, I think, because it's representative of who we used to be, not who we are now, but I'm just saying. Um, and I'm not going to apologize because I've been disrespected on so many occasions in this council that I have never, I mean, the mayor apologized to me a few times, but there's been numerous times where I haven't gotten an apology from many people on this dais. So uh, that's not going to happen. Thank you. Okay, so, so let's, if we can just put to rest the discussion with the logo that's not before us tonight that's actually thank you um, I don't want my comments which may be critical to be construed as being anything but critical about the signage um, I am concerned about clutter on the sign I think when people are driving and they're trying to read something and we put too much on the sign it becomes a safety issue so these signs are not necessarily at corners because our boundaries are not necessarily at, at corners at intersections where you would stop. So um, first speaker can please come forward. Well, I'm sorry that Sophie Hahn walked out. Um, I think racism is something that we all need to keep an eye out for, both unconscious as well as conscious. 
the way that the insidiousness of institutionalized racism seems to work is that throughout our lives at different levels, mm -hmm. different grades, we learn different information and it makes us kind of react differently to different people at different times. And so I really want to explain that racism is thinking one's opinions are more important than other people's lives. My mother is Councilwoman Davila, for those who don't know in the room, and it has been her experience that she feels marginalized, disrespected, um, and that takes a toll on her. And, and please respect my mother, her leadership, her experience as a black woman, Thank and you. please stop marginalizing her. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Could you clarify? that the source of my discomfort for the word territory, uh, if you just look on Wikipedia, Indian Territory, also known as the Indian Territories, was a land within the United States of America reserved for the forced resettlement of Native Americans. Okay. And that is why I have, I take pause, yeah. and why I would I like to consult. consult. With, uh, it's just, I, I just, don't understand why you need to. I mean, you can check with her. Um, she's going. She's going to validate it. But that's just another level. And that will be the message. Another level of disrespect. Thank you. Okay. So the motion is short-term referral to the city manager. 